Remix. We got the Hanzo ESD. This is actually my third Kona Hanzo ever. This is my cross country race bike, y'all. I'm a huge fan of having a full suspension and a hardtail. The Hanzo ESD for me is a hardtail that can hammer. To blind you. If you have followed the channel, you may have scene where I actually, when I went to experiment with the ESD, I put an angled headset on the extra slack dude. And I received some hate mail for actually making it less slack. So I'm gonna go back to the stock head tube angle with a standard wolf tube. I have been riding a Process X, so that's part of why I wanna go back to the super extra ridiculous head tube angle and see if maybe the problem was with me and now I'm gonna be completely used to the extra slackness of it. I don't even know why I persist on with using this. I don't either. It's so simple to set up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is like using a frame pump to air up a 29er <laughs> 2.6 tire. Uh uh. -oh. There it went. <laughs> Actually, never ran the one up threaded EDC carry tool but I definitely like the concept. Never be without a tool again. Of course, when I ride with Eric, I'm never without a tool anyway. <laughs> Super simple, but not so simple that you can do it at home. You need us to do this for you at Summer Cycle. <laughs> I see threads, maybe. This threads into the steer. Into the thing with the things on it? Yeah, the thing with the things on Thread it. Thread that into the thing with the things. Any idea how tight to tighten this here? Foot pounds. Like all of them? <laughs> all the foot pounds. We'll go snug. Still spins free. <laughs> Have you ever used one? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They said break it like a glow stick, but I feel like I'm literally going to break it. Put a CO2 here. CO2. Oh, it screws in there? Oh. Yep. And you could throw yourself like a dart tool or... Matches. Safety blanket. Utility knife, freezers. Uh, beef jerky. I'm sure, maybe some cashews. Yeah, you could get like a half a bag of cashews in that. Some like a full meal of cashews. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Designed to live inside your stem. To remove the tool and tie a lever from the carrier, bend like a glow stick and unhook the tip of the tire lever. I don't even see a tire lever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. Oh, I love this guy. Here from Mr. Wall's bike shop. And today, I... How much smarter is Mike than Like we're in the first grade and he's in Harvard right now. Well, he, he done research before he started his dream build. <laughs> <laughs> you just bend it and everything just kind of pops out. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I cannot get this out. <laughs> I'm sweating right now. <laughs> All right, let's start with, so it's really easy to use. You just bend it and everything just kind of pops out. So you got a... Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Check out this everyday carry tool. It's so easy to use. You just simply pop it out like that and out comes a fully functional multi-tool. Has everything you need for a trail side repair and it gets even cooler. You can store some cashews, ibuprofen, possibly a eighth of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich here. And at the bottom is a convenient CO2 Holder. On this part, you actually have a chain breaker and you have a valve core removal tool there. And this piece here doubles as a tire lever. 
On the side of the body of the tool, you actually have some quick link storage here. They tuck in really nicely there. Tool goes back here. There's that. So simple. So easy. I yeah, mean, I mean, who couldn't figure that out like first try? Oh. Bro, all I want to carry on the trail is like my freedom. <laughs> that's, that's me. That's what I want to do. You can never run a pack because you're such a bro. Well, good thing. Your tool, right on your bike with you. Over there. What? How can you beat having a threaded bottom bracket? Do you think that that's just like the best thing to say because I've never had trouble with the press fit bottom bracket. Is that just like the, the bro thing to talk about? It's like, oh, it's got a threaded bottom bracket. It's so simple. It's... Press fit bottom brackets are pretty easy to put in. I'm just gonna throw that out there. They're not bad. They're not bad. But I'll Most meet halfway and say those presses aren't necessarily cheap. I would have already had the press fit in here. Just kidding, I like these a lot. Quickly. What do we got here? Ooh, la, la. What? What? <laughs> I can't even see it. What is that? Yeah, okay. okay. Redo. Try redo. it again. Try it. And go. <gasps> Still kind of trash. Yeah, it? it's pretty, pretty much. That was a bad get that off, get that off. Right away, get that junk out of here and go! <gasps> what is that? Carbon crank? Why would, why would you run a carbon crank? Just on a steel hard <laughs> That makes all the sense. Because it's carbon. Yeah, it's because it's carbon. Carbon. And steel is real, right? Definitely a big fan of the Pike Ultimate, really any of the Rock Shocks Ultimate series because not only do you have your typical high speed compression, but you also have low speed compression adjustment, which really, really helps to eliminate any pedal bob. It gives you more support when you're diving into jump faces or through sort of undulating terrain. It's really, really helpful to have that extra adjustment. Plus, you get this ridiculous silver to go with the silver kit on this bike. I really, really, really like the lines. Not only do you have the classic steel tubing, but they are straight, clean lines. I absolutely love how the top tube goes right into the seat stay. Although it seems ridiculous on paper, this bike is extremely rideable and it is an absolute blast. Cue the clip of Indo Eric absolutely smoking our big tabletop here in Somerset, Kentucky at Pulaski County Park. This thing is a blast to ride, but then you can still go and pedal a ton of miles, which is exactly what I want this bike to be. Are you sure that's the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Are you sure that's it? I know what I know. The only what I know is, is right. You want to grease this so that it's slicker, mm -hmm. yeah. so that you have to over torque your carbon bars. Looks yeah, but I mean, that's, I thought that's what you were supposed to do. So they just drop the stem bolt in the carbon paste. <laughs> that's like a fly in your mayonnaise. Yeah, I just got that. Deep skate Josh. <laughs> Dumpster diving. Have y'all priced these blue shop towels lately? <laughs> Not trying to seem like a fanboy, been trying out the e-bike with the standard stock aluminum bars, regular grips. Doesn't even compare to the vibe damping you get from this. You'll do that with all the down sweep. It's new, it's the new trend. Oh, it's yeah. all down sweep. Oh yeah, yeah. like the worst part about working on bikes is dealing with all of those spacers. Yeah. Which side should I run my shifter cable on? Mm. <laughs> AXS joke. Too much? A little, a little over the top there. Right? A little over the top. A little over the top there, douchebag. Ow. <laughs> I use only the highest end zip ties from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, yeah. <laughs> Probably have to cut that. <laughs> oh, the smoothness. 
so uncomfortable to feel that olive crushing in there. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Right there. Change plans. Gonna go with these reserve carbons for the reserve 30s. Smuck off valve stems really do seem to hold up pretty well. Had several, several sets of these at this point. I just like them. Had some nice matchy color. The Tannis tire inserts. You can actually run a lot lower pressure with these in there. They give your tires a much more supportive, but also much more active feeling. And so the bike feels a lot more poppy. And again, you can run a significantly lower pressure and still not have to worry about bottoming out. You can actually run your bike out of the trail with a complete flat if you have these installed. Eric left me, so it's just me, this bike, and 2000's rock. I actually think I like it better. Quite possibly the best part of the GX Axis kit. This sweet little multi-tool that says Eagle Technology. So it's gotta be legit. It comes with everything you need to get started with electronic shifting, including the controller, the derailleur itself, charger, battery, charging cable, new school Eagle B-Gap adjustment tool, a mount in case you don't have the matchmaker clamps, and a coaster which also is functional because it has a QR code that helps you go directly to the SRAM Access app. will help you set up and fine tune your electronic shifting. 